we know from yesterday that John has you know, a little trouble letting go of saying painting is finished. Do you have the same difficulty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you you know, you could make a career out of every painting, you know, if you just you just at some point you got to quit, you know, and start another one. So, then uh, it's you know, sometimes it's a tough call, sometimes it's not. Sometimes you, you know, you're very satisfied with what you're doing, and uh, sometimes there's something <coughs> that I can't figure out what's wrong. I you know, I know there's something wrong, so I call Carol and say, hey, what's wrong? She says, well, there's something not right about the left side may not know what it is, but we still, you know, it, it's a hint. It's a, uh, so, uh, and, and you, you know, kind of checking your own painting is like proofreading your own work. You, you, you know, you're liable to miss that same mistake every time, you know. So, uh, when we used to do that, it, when I was a technical illustrator at Marshall Space Flight, we had to read everything backwards. You know, you catch it that way. and. Uh, that was a droll process, but it worked. <laughs> we also did flip charts, which is way before. <laughs> kind of like looking at your paintings in a mirror, right? Yeah. Reading your work backwards. I'll have to remember that. You know, that's the other great thing about coming up here and, and being with Nancy and David's group of painters. It's just, uh, there's no one in this group that you have to back up for. There's, you know, there's not a painter in here that's not top flight anywhere in the world, you know. And so that's very pleasing to me <laughs> to be included. This bunch, it's nice. It's very nice. A lot of nice people. Yeah. Yeah. We decided years ago that we weren't going to work with people who weren't nice. And <laughs> we packed up and sent them. You know, it's like Nancy and I were talking about this morning. You, uh, in other businesses, or, or you should, try to make sure your clientele gets the best work available. You don't want to be selling them junk. I mean, you know, and and a lot of people don't know. You know, they think, oh, it's pretty, and but it may be. Well, I don't mean it's worthless, but, but it's not. You know, you. you you owe it to your clients to make sure they get a piece that they, that someone won't walk in and say, ooh, why'd you buy, why did you buy that? Yeah, and it's one of the reasons that we take paintings out to people's homes. So on Monday, we're going to Charlottesville and taking a load of paintings to somebody. And it's just, it's the one way to really know that that collector is going to be happy with those paintings. Because in 30 years, we've never gotten a bad check. But it's also, we've never had anybody return a painting. And, and that, that's, to me, this is, this is just such a joyful thing. You, know, you don't want anybody to have a bad experience with that. So making sure that they're taking home work by nice people and making sure that when it gets home, home is happy to have it. Mm -hmm. that's, that is an exciting point. Yeah, it's easy to fall in love with something in here. And the same when it's not all no. that like it. Well, yeah, I mean, our gray walls, and sometimes they look green, and sometimes they look violet. And, but you take them home. I guess it was John who was talking yesterday about doing a commission for somebody. He didn't know until he brought it to her home that she had yellow walls. Well, you put a painting on yellow walls, and there's nothing more difficult for a painting to deal with than yellow walls. And so he took it back and redid it for her walls. And so she'd be happy. 